Hello Unidivas, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we'll be learning this turban design. Without taking much of your time, let's move straight to the training. So guys, I'll be using one yard of fabric for this project. And it's a shiny poly, a stretchy fabric. And note, make sure you, first of all, cut out the, the part that measures 58 inches length by 25 inches width. If you want to manage your fabric, cut out the part that measures 58 inches length by 25 inches width. Then after cutting it out, you cut out the, this part that will be showing you now. So um, the fabric I'm using will be the one for the V-face and the length measures 15 inches by 11 inches width. I cut out two pieces. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been forming V-face and this is not the new this is not a new video where i've been forming it on my channel so i will not be taking much of my time on how to explain it here that i will show you guys but if you want to learn it very well like if you want where it's well explained you can watch other videos on my channel is there okay so um i cut it out to pieces and after that after forming my plates i also mark 12 inches here. Actually, the owner of this headgear, the head circumference measures 24 inches. So once I'm done doing this, I will be marking out 12 inches. The essence of doing this is to make sure that I, the, the V part is being displayed well. Okay. So after marking it out, I'll be using my pin to hold both together this way, guys. I won't be explaining here so well because. I've shared video. In fact, I've shared more than three videos on how to form this V part. So I'll be using this fabric for the V design. Once I'm done doing it, you sew this part down. All right. So next, now we do now is to cut out this excess part after sewing with my sewing machine. Then um, I will notch the center of the fabric. Then I will attach the back of my base. done with the cap base and I set that aside so what next I'll be doing now is the fabric I told you that you'll be cutting out first don't forget to cut out this part first though the length measures 58 inches by 25 inches width okay this is the wrong side and this is the right side so you fold it into two like this and the wrong side will be facing you once you finish folding it you take it to your sewing machine and sew everything down the material I'm holding is called wadding of or breast pad. I don't know what's called in your area, but it's soft fabric. Um, one side is hairy and the other side is smooth. You can see the weight of it. this is the thick one, very thick, and the length measures 15 inches by 12 inches width. So I'm done sewing this fabric, so I'll be turning it out. Once I'm done turning everything out, I'll be inserting the wadding inside it okay so um guys please pay very close attention here and i promise you you will understand this tutorial it's quite an easy one all right so once i'm done inserting it and adjusting everything 
watch closely you see there's an allowance this part you can see what i did there i placed an allowance there and i used my pins to hold it down so it won't dance around when I, whenever i'll be plating so i'm using my pins to hold it down and you can see the remaining parts where i didn't put the wording all right let's start with our plating i've done videos on how to plate like many times yes so if i've been watching my video you see that this is not a new process but <clears throat> notwithstanding i'll still show you how to form my plates so i'm going to form your plates then use your needle to hold down remember i told you guys if you have a dummy that's the best place to form your plates so you'll be able to get that curved shape but i'll just show you on the table take it to my dummy and i will form my plates and after forming my plates i'll be using my needle and thread to hold it don't forget to curve in this way make sure you curve it okay so after forming my plates i'll take it to my dummy and i'll do some adjustments and i'll show you the outcome of mine so i'm done tacking it and you can see the points i tacked down you can see it so i decided to show you before holding it out to the tabanka base please make sure that this part aligns with the center okay you can see that place i pointed it aligns with the middle part of your turban so i use my pin just for a temporary hold so i'll be tacking here you can see it i'll be tacking here with my little thread also tack this point and this point again so and you can see i'm done tacking you can see the way it looks so um next thing i'll be doing is to form the other side design okay i won't be talking much again just to watch and you understand everything
right so you can see how it's looking and what i'm trying to do is to do the finished work which is stacking the back after cutting your fabric there is a piece that is remaining okay i'm using it to cover this part so i'll be using my needle and thread to hold this together please don't drag it much don't drag it much so it can enter your head so after tacking i'll cut out the excess part you can see how it looks so i'm cutting it out then i will use the small fabric that is remaining to cover this point okay and um you can see how the front is you tack this part tack here and also tack here with your needle and thread don't forget to do so so it will turn that around and this particular fabric is major seven inches length by five inches width this is the last fabric that is remaining from the one yard that i cut out so after sewing i will turn it out then place it this way and sew with my sewing machine once i'm done sewing i will as well turn it out then use your glue gun to gum it gum the inside on it so it won't dance around you can see how it neat it is guys if you are reached to this level and you've not subscribed to my channel please do so and if you have any question you can drop it on the comment section i will attend to every one of you so guys, thanks for staying out this time. I love you all. See you next time.